hello, hello to all of my amazing Aries. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Aries, yes, we're getting ready for this full moon, so let's get it. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing Aries as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions. What information do we have for my Aries? Yes, you all know that you all are gods in human form. You're the ram, right? You all have positive energy. You all are very brave and you're creative. You're very passionate. You're enthusiastic, confident. So many wonderful things I can say about you, Aries. And that's why I like to start on my readings with just pointing out your higher frequencies, right? I need you all to really stay focused. We have the Three of Pentacles. But something major is happening in your lives, right? We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups. So listen, this is what you all are really focused on, your internal peace and happiness. So this is, this is the beautiful thing about the moon. I love, love, love full moon energy because the full, leading up to the full moon energy, you have your dreams are more vivid, clearer, you know, you got downloads all over the place. You have a lot of energy, the whole nine yards, right? And so with that, you want to focus on, I'm, this is what I'm seeing for your reading. You all are walking away, or at least your emotions, the deep emotions are drying up for people who have burned you, like they have burned you for the last time. Your peace is paramount. That's what I'm seeing, right? So this could be you, your divine masculine to your divine feminine. This could be the little boy or little girl in you. But your peace is priceless. And you're doing everything you can to protect it, right? So the depth of the emotions that you once had for certain people, whether it's family members, friends, or whomever, is drying up. You're walking into your highest self. You're stepping into your own light. I love it. You have cried your last... See, I'm seeing this card a lot on a lot of readings, right? People have cried their last cry. I'm not crying over this anymore. And even if you're not physically like dropping tears, like you're not lamenting over this anymore. You're not sad about it anymore. As a matter of fact, you have sailed away from it. It's like, you know what? This full moon showed me everything I needed to see. Whether it was in physical form, whether a person you saw that somebody was cheating or they just could not be committed to anything, or whether your manager made one more last night comment or whatever it can even be on the other side on the positive side but whatever but looking at your cards here somebody is sailing away from the deep emotions they're disappointed but they're like i'm done like i am i'm uh, <laughs> the level of done that i'm on right now i don't even think you can comprehend right here we have perfect synergy when it comes to your money and you all being a magnet for more money again because you all were holding space for these deep emotions. That deep emotion could have been frustration. It could have been fear. It could have, somebody could have tried to make y'all feel um, guilty over something. Like y'all were holding a huge, like this big ball of emotions for something and it was blocking your money. Full moon energy is really about making a decision working something out within yourself your highest self and your lowest self and it's like listen i need to make a decision i need to stop this internal battle i need to make a final decision about something right matter of fact when we talk about full moon ritual and there's all kinds of rituals online that you could do right but let me just tell you what works for me so once everything is illuminated it's like everything is brought into focus Right, and when I'm talking about when we moving towards the full moon, because remember the moon is aligned to our feelings, subconscious habits, our moods, and our emotions. Right, you know that by now. You've been following my channel. If you're new, welcome. Um, and so once everything is illuminated, and I see what's inside of me of like what I need to get rid of, um, but it's also shining a light on things that like the strides that I've made. So that's something I can really be proud of and say, okay, I've come a long way in this particular area of my life. But it's also like shining a light on any insecurities or anything that you may have suppressed, right? So the things that you need to get rid of or, or make peace with, you just want to release that so that you can welcome in the energy, the thing that you've been speaking into existence. For some of you all, it's been more money. 
for some of you all, it's working in a job where it's just like peace. You know, like it, it's perfect synergy where you don't have a lot of stress, strain, or struggle on the job. You want to work with somebody who is just like, you know, like, you know. But again, you had to do the work, Aries. You had to sail away from some emotional, some some deep, deep, deep emotions that you had about some things. So that's one thing, saging your whole house. getting Once everything is fully illuminated, just getting that energy out of your house. Saging your whole house. Open the windows up, sage that house. Another thing is is um, finding a quiet space in your house and writing down the things that you want to manifest. Do you want to manifest more money? Write it down. You want to manifest peace on your job? You want to manifest a working on a job where there's no stress, strain, no, no, not unnecessary stress, strain, and struggle where it seems like your manager is targeting you or your director or whoever is targeting you. Do you want to have employees that um, that are you know, don't have an issue that you're in charge. They don't care what your skin color is. They don't care what your gender is. They don't care about any of that stuff. They're just grateful to be working with someone like you. Y'all energies are aligned. You know, whatever it is you want to manifest, write it down, right? Put it in a container, put it in a glass container or some kind of container and sit it under the moon because you really want those things to come to fruition. Remember, the moon is aligned to our feelings, our subconscious habits, our moods, and our emotions, right? And also, water. Put water in a container because when water is facing the moon, the moon's gravitational pull is stronger. You wanna get that thing manifested quick, right? It's stronger, right? That pull is stronger. So those are just some of the things that I do, right? And they actually work for me. So again, it really is the energy you're putting behind it, right? It's the energy you're putting behind it. Because something like um, something is really about to happen. And so that's why it's important for you all to like start manifesting some things, right? You want your life to be a lot of fun, right? Some people are going through some hell around you. Some people who have done things to hurt you are really going through it. But you are victorious. Ha ha. Yes, Aries, I see you out here winning. V I C T O R Y. Were some of y'all cheerleaders? Anyway, here we have the um, Page of Swords. So you're coming close to the end of a very challenging relationship where I'm telling you a lot of y'all don't look like what y'all been through. So somebody's writing a book or reading books, some self help books, or whatever the case it is. But again, I see you all coming to the end of a long and arduous journey. That's why I like to try to add a little tips about doing things in my readings, like teaching in my readings to help people, at least to just like plant a seed. You water the seed. Once I share just because this is really your tarot card reading, but me sharing additional information, go online, look up some things, do some more research. You want to delve a little deeper? Here we have the emperor card right this is your card again you all are strong leaders you have amazing self-confidence you all are positive you're brave you're creative you're honest you're very passionate you're optimistic enthusiastic you're very confident determined courageous this is what you want to remember about yourselves when you're sailing away from situations that have had you on your knees crying or frustrated or mad to a point that's so challenging it has taken away it has disrupted your money we have the tower card. So somebody is, like I said, you all are divinely protected. Information is coming through to you all. So some, some of you all have seen faces of family members in your dreams, um, some of your kids you've seen in your dreams or whatever, and they could be really going through a real tough time because, again, you have decided enough is enough. I need to make a final decision. I have seen it all. I have, it is, there's, nothing, there's nothing hidden anymore. I've seen it all, right? And so what's being replaced with that is money, freedom. You got your power back. This is how you used to be in bondage to people's guilt, pain, all this other stuff. Not anymore. Some of you all have been so triggered going around your family members. It's not even funny, but not anymore. Why? Because you parted ways with it. You're like, I'm, I'm going to have my life. At I'm going to have a peaceful life. I'm not doing that anymore. Some of you all have parted ways with exes feeling great about life be still right some of you all are rooted and grounded the number four is connected to the earth the element of the earth but be still and know that god is working in your favor once you decided to 
you know, sail away from that emotion. Some of you all have physically sailed away from it. Some of you all are not physically in the same space as certain people who have really, really burned you. Um, it could be a child. It could be a, a, it could be an adult child. It could be a parent, but you have sailed away from that emotion. You have said, you know what? My peace is paramount is priceless. I'm not risking that anymore. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. So be still and let God handle the rest of it. I will be back in a couple of days, Aries, so that I can, um, we can resume the, the chakra teaching, but this is your full moon ritual, um, reading and congratulations to you all on making that final decision to sail away from drama, unnecessary drama. You all have been through enough. So y'all don't need any more extra drama piled on too. So again, some of you all may be disappointed in the behavior of people around you, but that's okay. This is your peace. Protect it at all costs. That's what I have for you. Bye.